Welcome to the part two of building your Gemini memory. Let's get to it. So, all right, here's a lot of stuff that's come out of this from me. And I'm just gonna go copy. I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna go back to my memory document here. And I'm gonna use the prompt window on the right hand side. And I'm gonna say, based on what you can already see in this document, I'm going to paste some additional information about me and I would like you to append or add all of this information to the memory document without removing anything and blend anything or omit anything that has already been added. Okay, cool. So, and then I'm gonna paste what I got from Notebook LM. So now, all of a sudden, we have more context. So now we're gonna do another one. Now we're gonna to go to our drive and from our My Drive, you're gonna have a whole bunch of documents, presentations, other information. If you wanna run a search of some sort to make this more contextual for your business, like maybe, you know what, the only thing that's gonna be useful here is gonna be presentations. Well, you can run a search and you can say, okay, well only show me presentations. Or if you think, you know what, the only thing that's gonna have anything useful is gonna be spreadsheets or documents, you can drill down for that if you want. But what we're gonna do here, maybe I'll search for the word strategy, right? Here we go, okay. So Google Drive has found there's a product strategy document that looks like there's some SOP documents that we've created. There's a business model and strategic plan document. It looks like there's even a PDF in here. Now, some of these might be old, some of them might be new, that's okay. We're gonna take this now and we're gonna query these and ask Gemini for a summary. So what I do here is I just select the documents that I want. Here we go, zoom out strategy, product strategy, product strategy, marketing strategy, board strategy, strategic plan, ITG strategy. Okay, great. So I'm gonna grab our genius group strategy, there we go. Cool, so I'm gonna grab all those documents and then see this button here that's now appeared in Google Drive, summarize these files. We can click this button and we can go summarize these files um, or you can also give it a custom, if you wanted to give it a custom prompt on the right hand side here, you could give it a custom prompt. Let's try giving it a custom prompt and see how that goes. I'm gonna say, help me by reviewing each one of these files and create a long form summary of all of the strategy information that would be useful for a Gemini memory document from these files. Now I can already see this is doing a pretty darn good job, like a really good job. And see it's brought in all these sources, all the files that I highlighted, it's, it's brought all of those in and it's given me a long form on our strategy. And it's just taken these from like, you know, meetings that we've had, transcripts, documents, but I can go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna go back to my memory document and now I'm gonna put that in the business memory. We've got a business strategy and our business information in here now. And you might wanna do an improvement round on this as well. You might wanna take these headings, like what we did with the personal document, copy the headings, and then go to Gemini and I'll say, based on these headings, can you help me improve any of the areas of this document that need additional context? All right, so I'll put that, I'll paste the headings in there and okay, it's gonna tell me what's well covered and then where are the gaps? Well covered, well covered, well covered, as soon as the cover is addressed. Okay, so that's actually looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. That's looking pretty good, great, okay, cool. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna get a bit more of your brand and style. Cool. So for this one, I would say another way of doing this would be to use an app called manus.ai. And you should hopefully be able to do this with a free plan. We're just gonna try this out and see how it goes. Gonna go and grab my LinkedIn profile link and see if I can pull it from there. And use your social media platform of choice. I'm gonna put the link in there. I'm just gonna modify this prompt. Read as many of my posts as you can. And you can do this with Facebook, anything that's got public posts. Now, Manus is a really cool tool. It's a little bit like a 
virtual assistant in that it has a web browser built in. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So it's gonna, it got stuck with LinkedIn. It's got to ask me to sign in. So I'm just gonna have to help it sign in, but it's got a web browser and what it is able to do is browse the web as if it was you. And you know, obviously they've got a free plan and a paid plan. If you pay for ChatGPT Pro, you get access to this as well. But I think you've got to pay 200 bucks a month to get access to that, 200 US a month to get access to that on ChatGPT. Manus is a lot more affordable for this. And it's very well known for doing these autonomous tasks well. Uh, Claude also has a feature that does it, but I haven't tested ChatGPT or Claude doing this, but I've been testing some basics with Manus and I've been very happy with it so far. Yeah, it's gonna ask me to sign in. Just gonna go and authorize that. Okay, so I'm gonna go exit takeover and I've logged in to my account and you can go and view my posts now from my profile. So this is a little bit mind blowing, but it's it's basically gonna go and click through the buttons. Usually I have my PA go and research flights or hotels or make bookings on e-commerce websites or whatever. And this can do all of those things for you, which is pretty crazy. Cool. All right. So we're going to leave that doing its thing in the background and let's get to the putting it all together stage because this is where it starts to get exciting. Now, I want you to think about what other data sources can I bring in to this memory? If you have a list of leads or customers from your website, you could probably get pretty good context from that. So we've got a form fill of leads on our website and that tells us what our customers are thinking, what language they're using, what help they need. I've got years and years of those form fills and I put all of them in a CSV file and I did the same thing. Uploaded it to Gemini. I said, hey, give me all the business insights. Give me all the insights that I should have in memory about this. And I asked the questions about my leadership style. Check out my leadership style from the Notebook LM, from the Google Drive. All of this is to try and get different angles of context. And I want you to think about where else can you bring in data? I bring most of my data from YouTube and from video. The easiest way to get access to that is Notebook LM. If you've got recordings of meetings, I showed you how to put them into Notebook LM, but have a think about what other stuff do you have? Maybe it's got heaps of recordings of calls with clients. You could put all of those into Notebook LM and then run this query and say, hey, read the transcriptions of all of these videos and help me to get insights from here on my own style. And it will know, and it's going to just look for your side of the conversation, which is pretty cool. Here we go, great, okay. So Manus is finished here. This has done a pretty good job. The next step for me is, uh, it's asking me, oh, what do you wanna do with it? Could I have a detailed list of each of these characteristics that would be useful to cut and paste into a Gemini memory document in bullets is fine. All right, so let's get that from Manus and then I'm gonna bring that in to the gem. So here we go, overall tone and communication style. This looks like it's like kind of marketing focused, but you get the idea. It's taking my tone here. All right, let's grab it. It's even worked out. Systemization expert, great. Okay, cool, so let's put that here into brand and style. We've got our document created. Let's go and make our gem. So we'll go to Gemini. Okay, so we're gonna to go to explore gems and I'm gonna create a new gem and let's call it memory gem. This gem will take a set of contextual documents and give me answers based on that context when I use Gemini and instruction. Cool, and we put those instructions here. So pretty straightforward, we create our gem and then we click add knowledge down the bottom and we're gonna add our reference file. So add from drive, so we click add knowledge, add from drive and we've got our Gemini memory document and at that point you wanna ask yourself where else can I bring in data from? If you have your customer list, if you have your list of lead queries, responses, any of the other data that you've found, this is where you would add more data. In my real memory gem, in my production account, let's see what else I've got in there. 
So I've got a longer, more extended strategic plan document. It's like 20, 30 pages. I've got that in there. I've got all of the consultation forms from our customers, years and years of consultation forms. So I've got really rich context of what our customers are needing and desiring and what challenges they have. I've got some of our SOP documents. So when we create an SOP document in our business, we're putting them in Google Docs now because you can link it straight into here, which is pretty cool. And then I've got a, like a businessy memory training document and a personal memory training document. So I've got both of those in there. Yeah, and then just more SOPs. Okay, cool. So SOPs, customer information, strategic plan, and then the dedicated AI training document. You may also wanna use this instruction. This is a better instruction for your gem. I've attached a number of documents that will help you understand my business in the context of any conversation in this window. And then I went to tell it what the documents are. So let me let me put that whole thing in there. If that is, so I hit save, that's my memory gem. That's the end of part two. Check out for part three.